everyone welcome back to my channel pgs in this video we are going to see how to configure quantum access point for all quantum access point it has similar configuration if you don't watch the previous video please do watch the previous video as we discussed in the previous video i connected my internet to the switch to port 1 and port 2 of my switch to device qni 200 now to open the quantum cloud page, search in your browser for cc.qntmnet.com. The quantum router portal will appear on the screen. If you have credentials, you can log in with your credentials. If you don't have your cloud account, please contact to your nearby quantum partner or distributor. After entering your credentials, you will be able to access the dashboard. This is the quantum dashboard. This is how it looks like. To create a site, on the left side of the si dashboard, you can see sites. Click on sites. Click add. And fill the details as per convenience. I am putting my access ID, uh, site's name as EGS Quantum. and device username password is admin and admin at rate one two three submit now to create ssids open the site that we created that is widgets quantum on the left side of the dashboard click configuration then wireless we don't have any wireless here now so add click add enter vlan name i am putting vgs access type i am putting standard encryption method wpa2 so we can put password here i am putting miraki at rate 123 sorry spelling mistake now routing option i am putting to bridge to van and VLAN number one. Based on our requirements, we can use this feature which are available in advanced settings and DHCP settings along that ACL and security settings. After, compa after completion of this, just click submit. Now the SSID has been created. Once the connections are done, the last four digits of the seri device serial number will be displayed as SSID in Wi-Fi, which is shown in the monitor. This is my device serial number. I am going to connect to that device. And now I am going to open my Chrome, entering 169.254.1.1 as the default IP of quantum. This is a quantum cloud page. I am going to click start configuration. Here we have three options. If you select DHCP, there is no need to give an IP address. If you want to give specific IPs to the device, we have to select static. If we giving the ISP port to access point, we need to select TPOE. In my case, I am using DHCP. Then click next. If you don't have any credentials, you can select standalone. In my case, I have cloud credentials. Then click next. To which site we have to assign the device? I am selecting VGS Quantum. Click next. Bridge and click next. Then finish. Now the device is rebooting. It takes 3 to 4 minutes to reboot after it automatically come into our internal network that's it now the ssid will be displayed in our wi-fi ah yes this is our this is our ssid that we created thank you for watching